Hello everybody and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today I have a pen and ink sketch that I did of a master painting. The original painting was by Pader Mork Monstead. I believe that's the pronunciation. And I sketched it on Canton Heritage 100% cotton paper, watercolor paper, with a fountain pen revolution Himalaya, Himalaya, uh, version one nib. I always pronounce it Himalaya because of um, a pen review guy uh, from Europe who pronounces it Himalaya, even though it's Himalaya. So I apologize for that. Um, and the platinum carbon ink, which is waterproof and light fast. So after sketching that out, um, letting it dry, I'm just going to play with some watercolors and just kind of color it in. I have it taped off to the outside 8x10. So I'm going to grab a little bit of ultramarine and start doing some washes. I feel like um, these sketches are good studies good practices um, to kind of spend time looking at the linear perspective that the artist uses um, work on kind of tonal values just the black and white and um, you're getting the illusion of structure and whatnot so it's pretty fun doing them that there's a lot that could be learned and it exposes you to different art um, prior to this I'd never heard of this artist and somebody had shared his artwork on um, a Facebook page uh, golden age of um, illustration and painting 1850s to 1950s All right, this is a mix of ultramarine and light red Like I'm going to wind up using a lot of um, lemon yellow, which I don't really usually use, but there are a lot of uh, greens in this painting. Grab some raw sienna. Apologize for um, not really talking that much during this video, kind of still waking up. It is Saturday, um, January 2nd. I did this yesterday, on New Year's Day. Um, we had the floor people come to replace the floor in the bathroom. Um, the house that we rent is pretty, pretty, like really old and the bathroom floor was sagging. So it needed to be done. And, um, they were able to come over yesterday. So while they were here yesterday, I had sketched this in the, the living room. Mixing in some burnt umber. This area I had struggled with sketching wise, where it is the, um, kind of the, cut off plane of a, a stump. So trying to get that to read as a stump was uh, difficult for me. Uh, throw in some more light red into that area. And I'm gonna mix some ultramarine back, back in to kind of get that grayish purple. More ultramarine. That different effect for the path. 
So I'm kind of just working my way all around with this. And like I said, still waking up. I think it would be um, better to have, you know, waited till I was more, I guess, invigorated in the morning uh, today, but I feel like I'd like to do a few paintings today. I'll wash that off. More lemon yellow. I'm gonna mute it down with a little raw sienna. Light shining through in the back, coming from the left. For the burnt umber, for that foliage growth. Um, not really foliage, but kind of that ground litter. Lemon yellow. Rosiana. Fed into that to kind of mellow it out. These background trees. Grab some Payne's Gray for the underside. Kind of do, let's see. Ultramarine and burnt umber. Water down. Kind of the gray faces of these trees. Let me get a dark going. I'm just going to grab Payne's Gray and Burnt Umber. Accentuating the dark spots. If we want some green variation, we'll grab some sap green. It might be a little too green for this time of year, this painting. Let's mellow that out with some light red.
openings up front. For some reason, sketching it, this dark part right here, this little corner, felt very important. And I'm not sure why. Maybe because it brought the eye in or something like that, but it just felt really important when I was sketching it that I had to keep on bringing that in there. I have that dark, I think they call it just a hedgerow. Shadows from those guys back there. It's a little bit darker in the background. Okay, so we'll call the coloring at that, the water coloring at, at that. Um, I am going to. Let's see. I'm just looking at it through the viewfinder, through the camera right now. Let's, um, let's add a little bit in here, just so it's not too much of the very center being lit up by the white of the paper. So now I'm going to pause it, dry it off, and then we will sign it. All right, so let's uh, peel this up. And while I do that, um, yeah, please, of course, you know, with YouTube and all that, please like, subscribe, follow. Um, if you have any questions, comments, anything you'd like me to do, uh, please let me know down below. Uh, if you want to support the channel, besides liking and subscribing, I have a Patreon account with very um, cheap, affordable tiers. Those go towards supporting this channel. Uh, there is some exclusive content on there. But I try to keep these videos, you know, as free as possible. I really enjoy the process of the, the peeling of the tape and getting that nice edge, but you want to be careful. You want to pull away from the painting itself. So if that anything does tear, it tears off and away and not over the painting itself. Besides getting a nice edges and borders with this tape, um, due to mat sizing, it leaves me with a gap where I can write who the painting is after, so I can attribute it to the original artist. So I'll put my name somewhere in these. Then down here I'll do after this is for there Mork ah, Monstead. And if we lay a mat over this to see what it looks like. And there we go. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I really just, just keep practicing and um, painting, drawing, sketching, and working on the masters. Um, it's just a really great way to progress. All right, I'll talk to you all soon and have a great day.